think he's got our money now? Huh? I don't know. You got our money? Hey, Jax. You're shorter, right? You're in too deep. You get us the money or drugs. You're dead. <laughs> Ajax, you okay? I'm sorry. Get off of me! Oh, you're late! If you'd been on time, they'd have never found me. Come on. Some reps. B, no way! I, I only agreed to watch out. Oh, Jim? I never agreed to not kick in your butt. Go! Come on! Hurry up! Come on! In the back! Come on! Hurry! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Yeah, baby! Yeah! You must be J.T. Hope. Ma'am? Sam's expecting you. I'll take you to her office. She'll be with you in a moment. Good morning, Mr. Hope. What is this all about? It's a department requirement. Every new program has to be evaluated by a qualified professional. A single mother from out of state? She'll be at the ranch by the time you get back. What? The department pays her salary. You'll have to look after her room and board. You load me up with extra costs, and still you refuse to fund the program? We've already discussed this. I only applied for my expenses. Prove to me that your program works, and we will revisit the subject of funding. If your approach worked, I wouldn't be doing this. 
Mr. Hope, if you're so determined to work with kids, why don't you re-enter the force and work the juvenile division? Look, let's not start giving each other career advice, okay? Now, I have met your requirements. I'm doing this program. I came here for my first three kids, and I am not leaving without them. Fine. I'll introduce you. First, we've got Booker Stokes, a 17-year-old bipolar bully mooted in the stock market, also convicted for possession, assault, and bed. Sounds like a real charmer. No, actually, that would be Ernesto Put Mendoza, 16-year-old tagger, gangbanger, and car thief who could follow you into a revolving door and come out ahead of you. And lastly, Keith Frazier. 17, we busted him breaking into a pharmaceutical warehouse. Ran the cops' asses off. Mother's in jail, no father. God knows how long he's been using. Been here before. Hasn't responded to any program or treatment yet. And like the other two, he goes straight to adult court next time he's picked up. I want to see these kids back here in exactly two weeks. Two weeks? And when I read June Anderson's report, I want to feel as if I am witnessing a miracle. I could hardly learn their names in two weeks. Two weeks, Mr. Hope. And if I don't like what I see, they are coming right back to the detention center. Santa Claus has sprung us out. Yeah, that'd be me. JT Hope's the name. Nice to meet you. Well, first missed opportunity to behave like men. <laughs> well, don't worry. There'll be plenty more. Yeah, I ain't worrying. All right, boys, throw your gear in the back and get in the truck. Come on, Moss. Boss, come here. Come here, boy. Oh, smells like a damn zoo in here. Come on, get in. I got a year in juvie. Whether it's here on your damn ranch, I don't have to take orders from you. Oh, hey, you can't touch me. I'm a minor, a-hole. Nope. You're a major, a-hole. Look, you're gonna need it. Gotta go. Now's the time. What's this? An episode of Survivor? No, it's not where we are that's bugging me. It's Walker, Texas Ranger over there. Hey! Boss! Don't get Of dehydration for you figured out there's nothing out there for miles you find anything interesting in that glove box booker it's none of your damn business oh nobody told me this place was on the moon take my word for it it's not quite that far might as well be i'll turn around and go back right now if that's what you want that goes for everybody okay then no more complaining. Ernesto's not complaining. Get in the truck. 
Get in the truck. Wise guy. I think the Marble Man just gave you a wink, no. homie. I think give him a smoke. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. That's 12 head of cattle, Shorty. You owe me. Yeah, you didn't get them in. I got them in. If I hadn't opened this gate, you'd be chasing bovines all over the Don't country. Don't you start with me, old man. You owe me the money, and I want it fair. I forgot my pocketbook. It's in the house. Uh-huh. Here they come. How you doing, boss? Good. Oh, Shorty. Come on out, boys. Line up over here. Grab your gear, too. To meet our new friends. This is Ernesto, Booker, and Keith. This is Shorty. <laughs> Out here, our day starts at 6 and ends at 6. What you do after that's entirely up to you. Now, there's no leaving the bunkhouse after 9 under any circumstances. Make sure you take care of your business before then. Now, we bought you some new clothes. I want you to put them on. No more of this, whatever you call all this here. And get a good night's sleep. You got a busy day ahead of you. Oh, and uh, keep an eye on Keith here. Seems he's training for the Olympic track team. <laughs> it's all yours, Shorty. Kind of messy, but she cleans up nice. It's a dump, man. Hey, I ain't no animal. I don't have to stay in no shed. No, you ain't an animal. Animals got rights. You're a ranch hand. This is where ranch hands stay. Suck. <laughs> They got sandwiches from Juvie out here. This is crap. Well, if you hungry, it'll taste good. I'd pick that up if I was you, unless you want a visit from the locals. We got a lot of wildlife around here. Fox, coyote. 
bear. Jim Ho? June Anderson. Nice to finally meet you in person. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, call me JT. Um, well, uh, did Shorty help you settle in okay? Fine. My daughter is so excited about all the room she's got for her pets. Good. Do you like a beer? Listen, I want to tell you, I, I wasn't really expecting this. Um, I mean, you uh, coming here with your, your daughter and all. See, this really isn't a place for... I mean, we're not really used to having women around here. Oh. Better get used to it if you want your program to work. I'd like to meet the boys now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, follow me. Some brooms in there in the kitchen in case you want to sweep this place out. Any questions? Yeah. Do I have to share a room with the cholo? What's up, punk? Hey, you want to listen to me? Listen, you little turd. This whole rehab idea is JT is not mine. So don't expect me to put up with any of your crap. Oh, whatever you say, Bakos Bill. Whatever you say, just don't hurt me. You're a wise guy and a slow learner. Signal summer camp, boy. You got me? I've done my time. And I know how to handle dirt like you. Anybody pulls a knife on anyone again, you're going to have an unfortunate accident with it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Some clothes over there. Find something to fit. I ain't playing Toy Story with these jokers. Tomorrow? Amigo. Oh, uh, there's one thing that I forgot to tell you. When you're cleaning up around here, watch out for rattlesnakes. They like to find little dark spots to hide. Good night. Some of this stuff up. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, you better hurry up. Freaking snakes, man! I can't handle this crap. Ernesto can handle rats, man. Rats are no problem, but snakes another thing. You shut up! I can't hear it rattling with you yapping. <sighs> They're playing you. There ain't no snakes. How the hell do you know? Yeah, what? You the crocodile hunter now or something? Screw you, Ernesto.
get in here, man? It's a lizard, man. <laughs> oh, boy. You're lucky he didn't piss on you. You bellering like a branded calf. Rise and shine, boys. We're wasting daylight. Morning. Sleep okay? I'm not used to how quiet it is out here. Ah. Molly, this is Mr. Hope. Nice to meet you, Molly. Welcome to Circle Hope Ranch. This place is the coolest. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I'll be back in a minute. Uh, listen, I'm pretty sure you weren't impressed with Colt's persuasive style last night. It's not what Sam's looking for in my report. I don't suppose you no. could leave. No. I'm a professional. My report will include everything, good and bad. You're going to be telling me how to run the program, is that right? Yours is not the first new idea to walk through Sam's door. Oh, I realize that. But she is doing her damnedest to kill this before it even gets started. You got two weeks. Why don't you stop whining and get started? And I can count on you. You can count on me to do my job. You look like one of the village people. Ooh, está celoso porque soy muy guapo. Morning, Shorty. Good morning, Paul. Nesto. That's fit. Perfecto, man. Like pants on J-Lo. You put a silk bow on a hog, but you still got a hog. Keith Booker, you understand English, right? See. Si. See. Si. Well, you want to eat? You go put on the clothes that we gave you, or you'd be wearing that jumpsuit they'll give you back at juvie. Now. <laughs> Ranch, 2,000 acres. We have to take care of all of them. We've got a dozen horses, 400 head of cattle. You better show them all respect. You will learn to ride a horse, work cattle. You'll stay out of trouble. Because you'll be too damn tired to try. <coughs> you'll be given chores to do, and I expect them to get done. You're here to learn and to be part of a team. Refusal to participate is not an option, gentlemen. This is the cattle pen. Now, the dozen that Colt brought in are here for inoculations, shots. The rest are still out on the range. Crap. No, that's a cow pie. That's a smell you're gonna learn to love. Now, the next few weeks, we're bringing in 35 head of ropers to lease to the rodeo. I'll expect you to have learned enough to be useful to us. You are our new ranch hands. And we're counting on you, each of you, to do your part. Here you're on the honor system. Any of you lie, steal, or betray a trust, that's it, you are gone. You'll be shipped back to Juvie so that three other more willing participants can be sprung from that hell hole to enjoy the wonders that Mother Nature has provided. Which includes that deadly plant you are currently fondling, son. And when we're done here, you go wash your hands. And next time, next time you ask before you start shredding the greenery. Why are you doing this, man? Because I'm tired of seeing kids your age not growing up to become guys my age. All right. Button up those shirts, tuck them in, and roll down those sleeves. Orale, chica. Mi amor, Ernesto. Ay, mira, que linda, esa chiquitita. That's good. That's good, Ernesto. That's real good. But, uh, his name is Ranger. It's good talking to your horse. It helps uh, form a critical bond. Now mount up. What, you gonna make me button up, too? That's right. Button that shirt up, tuck it in, and roll down those sleeves. Hold Look. still, damn it! Hey! Booker. Ooh, 
What would you like if I put a metal bar in your mouth, pulled it to the back of your teeth, and started yanking it around? Well, the damn thing won't listen to me. What the hell am I supposed to do? You're a big man, right? You demand respect? So does he. Now step back here and show him some. Come on. Take his saddle and throw it on him. Now, uh, Keith, you've got two choices. You're either going to get on this horse properly saddled, or you're going to go bareback. Now, what's it going to be? Hmm? I ain't getting on it. You are. Get out there! Swing your leg around! Sit up and look like a man. All right, gentlemen. Let's see how tough you really are, because you're going to be using muscles you never thought you had. Move out. On my lead. Come on, Chica. Don't hurt Daddy. Man, what's going on with this horse? Let's go. Come on, tighten up. Stay right behind me. That's about the sorriest crew I've ever seen. Up on those Bouncing like rubber balls ain't even in the trot yet. <laughs> Mexican, ain't you? Oh, si, si, patron. Uh, don't be a smart aleck, boy. Yo entiendo espanol. Mexican vaqueros. They taught us old cowboys everything we know about horsebacking and how to work cows. Yeah, they have a holiday there for it. Call it Charo Day. You ever hear of it? Huh? No. You didn't? Well, you ought to. It's in your blood. Them cows there, they're Mexican, they're Corrientes. And we gotta vaccinate them with four way. Pay attention here and learn something. Come here and hold this rope. Leg up like that, and he can't go anywhere. Give me that gun. All right, there you go. Now then. Boom. Man, looks like it doesn't hurt him now. Don't hurt him at all. You know, these ropes were given to us by the Mexicans, too. They called them La Riata. That's where we got the name Lariat. We just knocked off the A on the end. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. There we go. All right. It's all yours. What? I... Go get it. Go down there and get it. That's it. That's it. Get that leg. You got it. You got it. OK, here we go. Give it a shot. That's magic. That's magic. All right, let him out. <laughs> yeah, the homies can see me now. Ernesto. <laughs> Good job, son. Good job. <laughs> uh, you really like this crap? There's two kinds of music, Booker. Country and Western. Yeah, well, at my clubs, there are two kinds of music, hip and hop. You're pretty tough, right? Yeah. I bet you I can pull this wire tighter than you. I win, country stays on. You win, you get to choose any station you want. You're on. Come on, can't you pull any tighter than that? You okay? Come over here. I just took a couple of wraps around the shovel, right? Just get it tight. Then you nail it in. Do the honors. I have a choice.
Use your head, and you won't hurt your hands. I hope you like country. Let's move to the next section. We muck out the stalls so it doesn't stink, but more importantly, so the horse's feet don't stay damp. The most important thing to keep healthy is the horse's feet. I'm inshallah then. You just fill that wheelbarrow with more manure and I'll get you some fresh shavings. Guess you didn't hear me. I guess you didn't hear me. I said, knock out the stalls. This place is a joke, man. How so? Are you kidding? You dress us up like a bunch of idiots and tell us to go ride a horse. How the hell is that supposed to help anybody? Do you mind, then, if I ask you a question? It's free country. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be here doing an honest day's work or back at juvie? Here, there, what's the difference? Anywhere I go, it's the exact same thing. Bunch of people shoving me around, telling me what to do, telling me how bad I am. Yeah, well, I never said that. Oh, come on, man. I ain't here because I'm good. Man, the Nestle is not sleeping by the window with all these rattles around here. Amigo, what the hell are you doing? This is my wall. With the landlord, sucker. Oh, yeah? You got something to say? I got something to yeah, say. Yeah, say it, punk! Leave it alone, you two! Hey, what'd you say? What'd you say, punk? Booker, back off. I already talked to you about dancing with anyone but me. I'm fixing to go to bed now. Right out there. And I'm an awful light sleeper. Beer's cold. You know, I'm gonna turn up my radio real loud. Gotta give you some music to go to sleep by. Yeah, you do that. No different from you, if you ask me. Anyway. Man, you should have seen what Ernesto was doing today. Ernesto roped himself a cap and shot out some drogas. <laughs> Will you shut up? I'm trying to get some sleep. Now you have a bad attitude. I'll rope you. Welcome to Circle Hope Ranch. How'd it go today? Good. Talk to Shorty about what he's feeding these kids. And? And I think he could increase the vegetables and a little more fruit would be advisable. I don't believe it. Talked to all three of the boys today. Keith didn't have much to say about anything, and Ernesto said there are rattlesnakes in the bunkhouse. <laughs> Tell me that's not true. Oh, of course it's not true. It's just Shorty's way of welcoming the boys, you know, having a little fun with them. Hmm. And I understand Booker cut his hand on barbed wire. Yeah. Well, fortunately, he's current on tetanus, so that could have been a real problem. Look, they're just kids. They get bumps and they get bruises. I mean, of course, you're gonna put that all in your little file anyway. Look, I want you... I know, I know. You're just trying to do your job. JT, I really do support what you're trying to do here. Look, I just know from my years as a cop that the paperwork 
never reflects what's really going on. But the suits only want to know what's on the paper. That's right. And all those years on the force, you never learned how to use the system. No, I've never been any good at politics. Guess I'm just not the diplomatic type. Ernesto and Booker will actually be easier. The mouthy ones let slip a lot of information you can use to help them. You may need to forget about Keith, though. Yeah. Hey, Jax, it's me. Come on, Crouch. It's just you. Yeah, man, you gotta get me out of here. You gotta do nothing. You're the jerk that got himself caught. And thanks to you, I got bigger problems since you dropped the stuff. Look, I'm, I'm not in Juvia. I'm at some dude's ranch out in the middle of nowhere. Come on. Be realistic. With a lot of hard work and a lot of praying, you might be able to dig enough improvement out of Ernesto and Booker to give the program a shot. They got stuff here. I got I got vials of ketamine spilling out of my pockets. You can, you can make a ton of K. Keep talking, cockroach. There's no security. You can have me out of here in like two seconds. It's about time you did something useful. All right, little brother, where you at? The guy's name is, is JT Hope. Circle Hope Ranch. It's like a couple of hours of the five. If you leave now, I can I can meet no, you down no, the no, road. No, 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 I can't make it tonight. I'll be there tomorrow. Don't worry, cockroach. I'll find you. You waste your energy on Keith. And in my professional opinion, he is as close to hopeless as there is. You risk the other two. And you don't have a program. So two days in, I'm supposed to be writing kids off? Don't get self-righteous on me. Two out of three would be awesome in this business. You know that. Where you been, Lone Ranger? What are you, my mom aboard? Why'd you pop either? But you better listen to us anyway, punk. Where you been, man? Huh? We're in this thing, too. I don't think so. You don't think so, huh? You think on this fool, yo? You keep this up, you're gonna screw up for all of us, punk. You listen to me. I may not like it here, but I'm not getting sent back to Juvie because of you. This is for me, too. If I leave this on Ernesto's time, not yours. I'm gonna disappear, you won't even know I'm gone. It's getting late, boys. Time you got some sleep, huh?
Look, if you're gonna run away, you gotta come up with a better plan than this. I'm not going without you. So why not make this easy on the both of us, huh? Come on. Gotta admit, got a hell of a lot further than I expected. This here's a rope. This is the way we catch things around here. You're gonna have to learn to use it. You're gonna make a hand around here. If I wanna get something, I'll just go out and get it. Oh. You just go out and get it, huh? Yeah. Go out there and grab that 1,200-pound steer by the tail and drag him over here to me. Huh? Do this right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, boys, playing with a rope ain't bad. As long as your neck ain't in it. And yours was. <laughs> Why don't you uh, come on down? I'll show you how to do it. It's all on this leg, straight up and over. Okay? Man, if you could do it, or Nestle can do it. Yeah, let's see. All right, hold this. Straight up. Straight up. There you go. Let me give you a hand. You okay? I guess you didn't need that much help. She's trying to adopt me, though. Where, where are your parents? My dad's in New Zealand. He's remarried and has a family of his own. And my mom, she's around somewhere. They took me away from her when I was four. No, no, no. I've, I've seen too many of those in my life. Oh, but she's really nice. She won't bite you, I promise. How about I, I, I get some more food? Colt's a good guy. Yep. Works hard, plays hard. Sometimes too hard. You're lucky to have him. You know, he's proof that this program can work. I busted him when I was a cop in another life. Really? Yeah. And yeah, we kept in touch while he was doing time. And came to the ranch on probation. He loves it here. You know, Brooks gave you the toughest cases she could scrounge up. Yeah, that's my bet. She's setting me up to fail, isn't she? It's not gonna happen. May I? Please. You know, you'll want.
want a beer. A real cold one would be great. Hey. There's some warm blood in those veins. Hey, listen. This wasn't my first choice. The outreach program in Vail was full. I sure hope you come to like this place. Nice having you here. Bring a... Woman's touch. Good jobs, man. Here. Oh, yeah. Good job, little brother. Whoa, whoa. I'm not going anywhere. Would you consider this a little down payment on what you cost me at that last job you screwed up? I didn't do anything wrong, and you know it. Hey, I got serious problems that you made worse. You give me some more of this stuff, and I'll be back to collect what you owe me. You promised you'd take me! up, man. I'll win your Nobel Peace Prize somewhere else. Oh, is that what you think I'm doing here? Trying to win some kind of prize? Look, I, I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know who you are or why I'm here or anything. One little misunderstanding with the police and I'm cuffed and stuffed and shipped off to Ponderosa. Well, I guess uh, breaking into a pharmacy might cause a little misunderstanding. Hey, I was only supposed to look out. My brother was... Your brother? He didn't say anything about a brother being involved in the police file. He wasn't. Forget about it. No. Tell me about him. Nothing to tell. Is he playing you? I already told you, the only one playing me is me. My brother is... just my brother. He's gonna do what he wants. And that includes telling you what to do, doesn't it? No, he tells everybody what to do. What happens when you say no? You don't say no to Ajax. Get your horses moving, boys. Get them moving, okay? Oh. Stick to the Pull up on the rain a little bit here. Yeah. Pull up on the rain. You guys stick together, okay? Nice, easy load, okay? We're at trot. Let's do a trot right now. 60% of your weight. Listen to what Cole's telling you. Heel down. Keep me to trot. Let go of that horn, Keith. Sit up. You can get milk out of there, right boy. Now. Good. Good seat, boys. Good seat. Heel down. Come on, listen to him. Keep trotting. Hello? Hey, June, it's Sam. Oh, Miss Brooks, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. More importantly, how's it going out there? Kids killing any animals yet? 
Only a few barn cats, but who's counting, right? So everything's going well. Well, uh, last week was a little bumpy, but um, this week they're doing just fine. Uh-huh. Well, if he wants to keep that program, things had better be more than just fine when I see those boys. Bye. Bye-bye. Pretty good job today, son. How long you known JT? Oh, I've known JT since he was a nubbin. I worked for his pappy here and halfway raised him. You guys never leave the ranch, huh? No. Oh, well, JT, he left the ranch when he was 19. He joined the Marine Corps and became a police officer. I knew it. I could smell a couple mile away. Man, they're all the same, all them things. Now you cut JT some slack there, sonny boy. I've known him since he was in diapers. No finer man ever made a shadow. If you live long enough and get a little bit smart, you might be able to figure out what he's doing for you. Think on it. Man, these guys are freaking crazy, man. They will kill me. You said that you would have the money today. Get lost. You better get the money from me. I... Smoked all your profits, huh, you Jax? No, I'm getting the money. I was just on the phone with the guy. They did the press. They were too large. I know. That being said and all, it'd be safe for me to assume that you're broke. No, no. I got some money. Seventeen bucks. It's big time. Big time. Pizza or something. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you're dead. Lock your keys in the car, partner. Ah, oh, shove it. <laughs> Ooh. Feels so good. Don't say I never did nothing for you, homie. Hey. You gotta show me that trick. Say the word, amigo. It's Ernesto. I lifted from Pecos Bill. You stole Colt's wallet? That's just a joke. I figure you should be back right about. Now. All right. Which one of you greenhorns took my wallet? Took you long enough, man. Another trick? 
That's for helping me with the horse, amigo. Giddy up! Arriba! <laughs> Playing with fire, man. No, oh, man, he's cool. Hey, I'm dirty. Don't be flushing any toilets. I'm gonna go take a shower. Clean towels, please. No one brought the dirty ones, so there are none. Let me see. Uh, looks like that's Keith's chore. Sorry about that. Get off the bed, huh? What the hell are you doing, man? You never took up laundry like you were supposed to. So Ernesto won't got no clean towels. Look, get off the bed. So freaking sick and tired, you punk. Moping around here like a little Yoron. Man, we got 10-year-olds in my game more useful than you. You don't even deserve to be called a homie. Because homies are at least there for each other. You're not even there for your own sorry self, little punk. Get your crap together, man. What the hell's going on? Appear to be having a party in there. Hey, hold them! Hold them! Knock it off, you boneheads! You want to get hurt, there's plenty of opportunity on this ranch. Don't you be afraid of snakes, boy. You be afraid of me. Now get some sleep. That's good, Booker. You're looking good. Sit up a little straighter. Put your heels down. Well, it looks like Miss Brooks just might witness her miracle tomorrow. I've never seen anything like it, I can promise you that. <laughs> no, Keith? No, he's in the barn, hasn't finished his chores as usual. Two out of three, JT. It's good enough. Not for me, it isn't. You have to be in Sam's office tomorrow morning. You have no choice. You tell him he's beyond your help. They won't hold it against you. My report will back you up. I can't do that. JT, listen to me. Nothing will sink you faster than letting the department think that you will tackle cases that are beyond your scope. Play the system.
Which son of a bitch! You almost killed Molly! And me too! Why didn't you stop it when I told you to? I, I was trying to. I, I panicked. What the hell were you thinking driving it anyway? I, I, I was trying to do it better. Oh, I don't think that crap. You haven't lifted a damn finger since you got here. I said I never trusted you. You son of a... Hey, you. Get out of my sight. Go on. All right, both of you, start packing your bags. You're going back to Juvie tomorrow. And you can thank your... your friend Keith there. You ain't coming back. Okay, Keith. I'm not hurt. I know you didn't mean it. Molly, I want you to go back up to the house. I want to talk to Keith. See you later, Keith. Molly doing okay? I think she's more worried about Keith, to be honest. You were right. I'll never reach him. Why are you doing this, JT? When I was on the force, there was this kid, about the same age as the boys. It was dark. My partner and I were taking fire. We returned fire. Well, this kid, um, he died of gunshot wounds from my weapon. Found out later, he was unarmed. I don't think I'll ever forget him. And this is some kind of absolution? I just think it's a better use of my time. Except you didn't count on a Keith.
He's turning into another ghost. That's... I think I lost it on him. June Anderson has written some very detailed reports. They indicate that Booker and Ernesto are making real progress. I'm glad to see it. Mr. Hope, you and I have very different approaches. But we both want to see these kids helped. You've proven you can help. Real glad you see it that way. As a result, I'm authorizing funding for an extended trial period of six months. Well, that is great. But Keith will have to be replaced. He's obviously not responding. Oh, look, I realize that, uh... Okay, Keith is not looking real good on paper right now. I don't know, he's pretty much a general all-around pain in my backside, but... You know, that's not the real problem out there. The real problem out there has been me. No, I, I gotta start all over with Keith, and, and I want that chance. See, he should not be punished for, for my failure. I appreciate and applaud your sentiments, but from what I've read, it's not at all clear whether Keith would even be willing to go back. Just give me... Wait. You boys want to come in? What the hell did you do? Beat the crap out of them? No, I didn't beat the crap out of them. How you doing, Booker? It's all good. Now, what about you, Ernesto? Oh, Ernesto's fine. No. And you, Keith? I want to go back. Well, I'll be damned. Cheers. All right, what do you do? Well, what can we huh? get for you, honey? You know what that's right there? Thank you. Okay, that needs a little bit more cooking. You look very pretty, Mommy. Thank you, honey. Uh, listen, I want to welcome you all to this uh, very special barbecue being put on, by the way, by our uh, new cook team, Jordy and, and June. <laughs> I want to say something to you guys. You had me worried for a while there, but... Uh, you pulled it off. So for all that hard work, we're going on our first roundup tomorrow. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Let's go. Huh? Hold on, guys. Wait. Honey? We usually hold hands during grace. Yeah. Ernesto, give me your hand, for Pete's sake. Bread is a lovely thing to eat. God bless the barley and the wheat. A lovely thing to breathe is air. God bless the sunshine everywhere. The earth is a lovely place to know. God bless the folk who come and go. Alive is a lovely thing to be. Giver of life, our thanks to thee. Amen. 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 All right, let's oh, dig go. in. Oh, I got yeah. the meat on the grill. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, the bun. Where are the buns? Where are the buns? He's a good boy. Fellas, come yeah. get it before I throw it out.
Thanks. I love a beer. So, is today the day you're gonna die? I don't have the cash. Wait, wait, wait! My brother, he's at this rehab ranch. It has a ton of ketamine for cake. So what, we just walk right in there and pick it up? I've already done it. There's no security. You gotta believe me. I guess you'll live another day. Soon we should be back around supper time. Let's go. Bye-bye. Bye, girls. It's not fair. I want to go. I know you do. But this one's just for the boys. You good. Keep moving. <laughs> well, Shorty, once again, some damn good grub. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, JT. Mm. It's all right. Yeah. Thank you. It's all good. Yes, it is. We got some cows to move. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you're not this time. Stay calm. Don't move. Kill it, man. Why don't you kill it, man? I didn't kill it because the rattlesnakes take care of gophers and other vermin around here. Everything in the world has a place, boys. Even snakes. Let's go, boys. Come on, saddle up. Keith, uh, Booker, Mesto. Well, I just want to say you've shown a lot of progress in the last few weeks. Uh, you're no longer those wise-ass punks I hauled out of juvie anymore. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You know, it's been said that uh, the best thing for the inside of a man is the outside of a horse. Well, let's bring these cows home, huh? I don't have to do what you say. <laughs> no problem, Juan Wayne. Let's get him back to Circle Hope Ranch. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Ah! They're still wise asses. Yep. So are you. <laughs> Put 
Well, this space gives me the creeps. Let's just find this stuff. Get the hell out of here. What's your name, little girl? Ain't nobody here. It's weird. Hey, look what I found. says you guys keep a lot of drugs up in this joint. So why don't you just show me where they are, and no one's gonna get hurt. Let's go. Ah! What's in here? It's a tack room. Saddles and reins. I don't want a lesson in horse riding! Are the drugs in there or not? They're in the refrigerator. Where are the keys? It's Ajax. We got trouble, boys. Bring the cattle up fast. Got your kitty cat.
get a pig and string. Let's tie this son of a buck up. Thanks, Booker. Get him! Hold on, hold on! Come on, come on. Come on, man. Help me, man! I'm your brother! Son of a... You don't even know what a brother is. Would you like to stay here a while, Molly? Can we? Well, JT's offered me a permanent job, and as long as the department pays. Oh, that would be so cool. Hey, let's come on out here. But I can introduce you. June, we got Sean here. That's Tim. And there's Sal. Hey, guys. Boys, let me introduce you to Ms. June Anderson daughter, Molly. Hello. What's up, guys? Welcome to Circle Hope Ranch. Follow me. Let's go. Your day starts at 6 a.m. and ends at 6 p.m. We have 2,000 acres here, all of which we are responsible for. You'll be given chores. They'll be expected to be done. I can't wait to get them pirates' horse back. <laughs> <laughs>